hi guys this is the tech l007 welcome to my channel today you're going to be learning on how to make a mavi poster using only canva a program that you may or may not be familiar with so this is the movie poster example that i'm going to be recreating which was done using photoshop but today you will learn how to do the same thing with a free software and also with the English voiceover as the guy who has created this has done the voiceover or the talk in Indian language and Hindi language this example is from a youtuber slash graphic designer called Rajiv Mehta who creates such great designs using Photoshop so check him out as he has so much great info on graphic designing if you are planning to become one right so now you can see that this is the before and this is the after of Rajiv Mehta's design and then on the right you can see my design so this is my before and this is my after so as you can see I've got at the top some kind of quote he's got a quote there I've got the trip as well as and also with the trip on there as well as you can see my picture is obviously different to his and then at the bottom you can see is got the credit that's given to the movie and i've got that as well so we'll go in detail on how we can get this as well as how we can design the whole thing just using canva basically right so as you can see i've already made this poster in here and then at the bottom i had selected to make a new page so to do that you can always just say add new page and then that should create a new canvas and also with this poster the size really doesn't matter so you can choose your own size canvas if you want it right so first of all what we'll do is go ahead and get the background image right so for the background image i used a website called pixels and i searched in here skyline so this is the background that i'm going to be using i downloaded it and uploaded it onto canva now if you go to upload you'll find the background here you just drag it in and make it as a background picture set it as background so this is something as such that you'll get but obviously as you can see on the background it's got more image than what you have in here so what we want to do is we don't want to be adding it as a default we're going to be detaching it and then we're going to be resizing it Uh, okay so that should be it for the background image now let's get the girls picture and I'll show you where I got that from but right, so the website that I used was pixabay and I just searched girl with camera and then went on to select images and this is what I got obviously I did the same thing just downloaded it and uploaded it to canva right so if i bring this picture in here you can see that it's got its own background but we want to remove that background and have just a girl in here you can either do this in canva uh, you can use the uh, remove background tool that it has however that's not free so i'll show you a free way in which you can do it but if you have the paid version you can always go ahead and do that in here so what i so what I did was go onto a website called remove.bg, it's completely free, you just upload the image, it will just by one click remove the background and then you can just download it, save as image and that's it. Basically you bring it to Canva and you can use it. Right, so I've got the girl in here and I'll just bring it just in here. I don't want to bring it right towards the end because I just want to make some adjustments in here and then I'll reposition the girl right so at the bottom i would like to add something like this so this is like a gradient black and a transparent color so where i got that from was i went onto google and and wrote white fade png initially i wanted to have a white fade png the reason for that is because at the bottom i had like these white cloud but then for some reason it didn't fit and then like the look of it so i went for black so even with the white I found the black one in here and it's called color fade black to white so I've got this it's a PNG so this bit will not show when you 
downloaded so i uploaded it to canva and then i brought it right in here so then i've got the credit to be put in here right so i've got the writing in here as well so where i got the writing from is called something called fake movie poster credit png so i wrote in here movie credit png white so this is what I got, I just right click on it, save as image, this is just an image with a clear background and then I uploaded it to Canva again. So yeah, and here this is what you can see, it's just like an image and then I brought it right towards the end, wanted to make sure that it's right in the middle, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And then with the girl, so I wanted to bring this girl as close as to the writing so it doesn't look like she is half i don't know cut from the bottom so if you zoom in in here you can see that she's not right at the top of the writing and i didn't want that look so i wanted this to be right on top of the writing it doesn't look so it doesn't look very sharp at the bottom and also this faded background because you can see a little bit in here that it has got this line around here so i wanted to bring this just right about her wristband and because it's going to be symmetric with this line it's not going to show too much so let's go back to fit the page all right and now for the girl herself i wanted to make some adjustments and i'm going to take it Forward. so the girl has now been brought back to the front of the gradient color but then once I'm done with all the um, changes I'm gonna be making to her image then I'm gonna take her back to the background of the gradient so I click on there and I want to go adjust now there's some changes that we need to do in here which I've got it pre-written because I already made this picture so the first one is zero the second one is minus 13 and the saturation is minus 34 so you can see that there's some changes that's happening to the image there the rest is zero in here for the 10 the blur is zero and then the x the x process is minus 33 so the reason I've got the X process on minus 33 is that I wanted it to match a little bit with the background so then it looks more realistic. Now let's take this to the background so now you can see the fade really nice and it looks like as if she is on the same page as the background you know in real. Right so now I'm going to be writing this text down here. Right okay so I'm just going to select glow and i'm going to write the it's going to be lowercase for this bit and then the and the font will be called moon time so this is the one that i've selected i'm gonna have to make it a little bit smaller i'm just gonna double check what number this is so this is 162 i'm gonna have to make this 162 as well and then I'm gonna have to go to the text and change some effects on there so then I've got this one or this one right so we need to change the color so the four color would be white and then the background color would have to be black okay so that's how it is in here it's actually a little bit grayer in here so i'm gonna change it to gray and then the trip is literally going to be the same so i'm just gonna copy that over Control c and then just Control v paste now this writing is just a movie quote that i found on google so i went on and searched for movie quotes from google and then i found this website called buzzfeed and this is where i got it from it's called the movie is Charles Month Up and it's a Disney Pixar creation and all. Alright, so I just copied that, came over here, wrote this and then changed the font to Courier Prime. So this resembles the original poster in here. So this kind of looks like a typewriting font. So 
that's what I found as well. I mean, like very similar, Korea Prime. So Korea Prime was the one that was closest to what he had in here, okay? All right, so I'm just hoping that you guys know how to bring a text in and then write and change font. I'm just going to copy this and paste it in here. So just to make it easier and the video is short, I don't have to show you guys anything that you already know. All right, guys, so that's the post that created. I show you the before and after this is how it looks like and this is what you're seeing on the thumbnail of this video i hope you like this recreation don't forget to subscribe like and share it because i'm going to be coming with lots more of designs similar as this which you're going to benefit from and obviously learn something new so follow me on instagram to be the first one to find out what i'm doing on my youtube channel as well as any updates that are going to be coming on my youtube channel and some tips and tricks that i'll show you guys that's exclusive to my instagram and you'll not be able to say anywhere else take care guys bye